Hello fam, welcome, my name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the family. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here. And of course, welcome back to all my oldies but goodies. So, oh my gosh, shout out to Redito Hiroshima. I hope I'm pronouncing your name. Thank you so much because you asked me to review both of these foundations and I thought it was such a great idea because these are both one of my favorite foundations. This Shiseido has been my favorite foundation since it released. You guys know I'm always raving about it because it's bomb. It's just bomb, long wearing, full coverage, all that jazz. Here comes NARS with the newness too. They're both radiant foundations. You guys know I have oily skin. So, so skin's already prepped. I did my full morning routine about 30 minutes ago. All I did was my brows and I just set my lids a little bit. So let's start with some plumping, gripping primer because we want our foundation to last all day long for the usual. Oh, this is cold. It's so cold this morning. I mean, for us people in LA, it's like 45. That's cold. I know people on the East Coast and Midwest are like, girl, that's hot. But you know what I mean? It's cold for us. With primer, you always want to let it sit, especially these types of gripping primer. The longer you let it sit, the stickier it gets. So we'll just give it about two minutes and be ready. Okay, we're going to ignore this hair because you guys know I never comb it at the beginning because I don't know. I just always do my hair last. I feel like it goes with the, with the flow, you know? We are a little sticky now. We're going to use... Should we use sponges today or brushes? Let's use sponges. So on the left side, we're going to use Shiseido. On the right side, we're going to use the new NARS foundation. As I apply both foundations on, I'm going to give you all the info about the product. The oldie but goodie Shiseido Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation with SPF 30 retails for $47. I am in the shade 340 Oak. It comes in 30 shades. This is a luminous foundation that hydrates for up to 24 hours and adapts to your skin for a medium to full coverage with a radiant finish. The coverage is medium, the finish is radiant. The highlighted ingredients is light adjusting technology that visibly lifts, refines, and smooths for a luminous look. Radiant micro crystals that corrects the looks of shadows created by fine lines and wrinkles so that skin appears smoother. Transparent luminous pearl visibly counteracts hyperpigmentation by creating and even canvas to optimally reflect light. This comes in a 1.2 ounce bottle. The new NARS Light Reflecting Advanced Skincare Foundation retails for $49. This is an advanced makeup skincare hybrid foundation with a natural finish that quickly blurs and smooths while visibly improving skin's clarity over time. The coverage is medium. The finish is natural. The highlighted ingredient is biomimetic oat that visibly improves clarity by reducing the appearance of redness. Japanese lily turf that supports a strong skin barrier by helping maintain moisture. Cacao, peptides, and milk thistles minimizes the negative effects of blue light and environmental stressors this comes in a one ounce bottle wow blending them out they feel a lot similar similar than i thought we're gonna disregard these pimples they've been parked here for a week and they're not going away so here we are okay here is shiseido here is nars can you see a difference? Immediately, I don't see a difference. The main difference that I see, like when I get close, is Shiseido's texture is a little thicker. You guys saw it didn't really roll off on the skin like the NARS did because the NARS texture is a lot thinner. This one has a little thicker, but it's not thick. It just has a little more than NARS. Getting close here, Shiseido, you see that radiance that I'm really surprised we have as much of a radiance, but it is a radiance foundation i don't know i just i'm shocked but a good shocked but here's nars too coverage seems very very similar shiseido looks a little more blurred right here my pore area you see versus nars but no nars looks blurred too wow these are similar oh my gosh this is such a good battle foundation so it is currently 8 12 in the a.m so if you're new i usually let foundation sit wet like this for about 10 to 20 minutes depending how much time we have just to see how it dries down on the skin without any powders concealers or anything like that so i'll be back and i'll probably comb my hair in the meantime hey okay, i'm back it is it's been 20 minutes i still didn't comb my hair but you know it's okay we'll get there so looking at this skin they look so freaking similar like this is shiseido 20 minutes in this is nars nars is a little more radiant but not that much 
coverage is the same. The main difference right now is the texture. One is thicker than the other and one fell. Look at this glow. Shiseido? Mars. Ooh, okay, okay. Wow, I'm really like surprised how similar they are. Damn, okay. Wait, they both feel wet too. Like, yeah, wow. I'm just so shocked. Okay, cool. Also, I did notice that NARS does oxidize a little more than Shiseido. Not that much, but enough to notice, you know? So what I'm gonna do is just add some concealer, set it, and I'll be back. Now we're gonna set the face with this Maybelline Fit Me setting powder. It's a little bit on the matte side. I'm gonna get my powder puff and work this powder in. So we make sure both foundations are locked in all day. Setting the face, both look very similar and they feel dried down. While they feel so lightweight, it does not feel heavy. Let's look. Here's Shiseido and here's NARS. As you can see, we don't have pores visibly showing. That's a big deal because I have big pores. So with the lights turned off, so you get a better look. Okay, these are like legit twin foundations. I mean, a little different, but oh my God, I'm just like shocked. But okay, so what I'm gonna do is just finish up the face, keep it super simple per the usual, and I'll be back. Wow. Wow. Do you guys see a difference? I just, what do you think? Here is Shiseido. Here is NARS. Looking here in the middle, the skin looks flawless. That's one of the reasons why I love the Shiseido foundation so much is because it gives you such a flawless yet lightweight look, but so is NARS. I don't know which one I like better. I think we're just gonna have to see how the wear test goes if one side gets oilier than the other, or who knows, you know? So, wow. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Redito, for asking me to do this because, wow, what a good eye you have. Such a good eye. So this is it. Let's jump in front of the window so you guys can see how it looks in natural lighting and maybe we'll see a bit of a difference. And I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, fam. So here we are in front of the window. Here we have NARS. Oh, it's smooth, huh? Just so smooth. Here we have Shiseido. Also smooth. Talking about smooth, the bronzer and blush literally glided on the skin so beautifully. But can you see a difference? Shiseido, NARS. I really can't. I really can't. The skin looks bomb. Both the shades are similar also. The only thing Shiseido has more of a, a olive undertone. NARS has more of a neutral undertone. But girl, I'm just feeling the skin, you know? Okay, bye. I'm, I'm back. It is six o'clock, let's say. We've had the foundations both for 10 hours. But of course, before we get started, I do want to show you how the skin was looking. Here on the left side is the Shiseido foundation looking very smooth and looking radiant. And on the right side, they look the same. This is the NARS side. It literally looks just as smooth and radiant. We have full coverage. The skin looks beautiful at this point. And here we are now, 10 hours later. The skin looks so good. I don't see a difference. Like legit don't see a difference. Here in the Shiseido side, I mean, it looks good. <laughs> NARS looks good. I actually too, let's turn down the lights so I can show you. I wore my mask. This is the Shiseido side and the NARS. Like the NARS probably transferred a little more, but it's not that significant. They transferred the same amount and I only had my mask on for maybe like 10 minutes. Here's Shiseido without touching up or anything. You see how oils are barely coming through? And then the same with NARS. I feel like maybe with NARS with the lights turned off, now that we see, I feel like we're a little more on the radiant side. Nothing too like different, you know? So while this is like the best comparison I think I've done, the main difference is as NARS is $49 versus Shiseido 47. On Sephora's website, a lot of the shades are sold out, but it is available at Macy's and I believe Nordstrom. I will link everything down below where you can find both of these because both of these foundations are 
bomb. Like I cannot pick a winner because they both look really, really good. Yeah, I love them both. I think they're both bomb. Both of these have become my favorite foundations because they just work so well. They smooth the skin out, doesn't look heavy, and it's long wearing, especially if you have oily skin. You're not trying to look gastada at the end of the day. You're trying to look well put together, you know what I mean? Thinking about that, let's just kind of tap the skin a little bit. This is just gonna take off that top layer of like oiliness. Looking good is Eva. And here is NARS. Now I see a little bit of a difference. I feel like with Shiseido, it just looks a smidge smoother. If I have to pick, Shiseido is going to be the winner, but I feel like I'm being forced to pick because they're both so good. You know what I'm saying? And I hope this was helpful to you. Or if you're looking for a new foundation and you wanted to see a comparison of two bomb foundations, here you go. I hope you like this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you tried any one of these? And yeah, I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.